Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we celebrate today the Feast of St. Angela Marici. We begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with all of you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask the Lord for the most gracious and abundant mercy. Sent to heal the sorrowful in heart, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. Came to give the hope to sinners in darkness, and so we ask, Christ, have mercy. You plead for eternal redemption before our Heavenly Father, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May the Virgin St. Angela never fail to commend us to your compassion, O Lord, we pray, that by following the lessons of her charity and prudence, we may hold fast to your teaching and express it in what we do. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. After Nathan had spoken to King David, the king went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, Lord God, and who are the members of my house that you have brought me to this point? Yet even this you see is too little, Lord God. You have also spoken of the house of your servant for a long time to come. This too you have shown to man, Lord God. You have established for yourself your people Israel as yours forever, and you, Lord, have become their God. And now, Lord God, confirm for all the time the prophecy you have made concerning your servant and his house, and do as you have promised. Your name will be forever great when men say, the Lord of hosts is God of Israel, and the house of your servant David stands firm before you. It is you, Lord of hosts, God of Israel, who said in a revelation to your servant, I will build a house for you. Therefore, your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer to you. And now, Lord God, you are God and your words are truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then bless the house of your servant that it may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised. And by your blessing, the house of your servant shall be blessed forever. The word of the Lord. Today's responsorial psalm is, The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. Lord, remember David and all his anxious care, how he swore an oath to the Lord, vowed to the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. I will not enter the house where I live, nor lie on the couch where I sleep. I will give my eyes no sleep, my eyelids no rest, till I find a home for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord of God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord swore an oath to David, a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. Your own offspring I will set upon my throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons too forever shall sit upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. 
Zion is my resting place forever. In her I will dwell, for I prefer her. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought to you to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except that which will be made visible. Nothing is secret except what will come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. And he also told them, take care of what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we honor St. Angela Marici, um, who entered into eternal life in uh, 1597. And she became very uh, familiar with St. Ursula and of the time. And Ursula was a great educator. And so Angela gathered a number of people around her and formed a little bit of a school for the young girls who would have absolutely no education whatsoever. And that little group turned into what is called the Ursulines. And they're still today very much involved in education of the poor. And Jesus says in the gospel today, very simply, don't light a candle and then put a vegetable basket over it. Let it stand for all to see. St. Angela Merici certainly did that. And those that she taught as well lighted up the world for Christ. And that's, that's still that uh, empowerment is given to you and to me, that Christ lights up our lives with his teaching and with his grace. And we are to bring that light to the world in darkness world in darkness that doesn't want to know God, a world in darkness that, that um, uh, would rather see the church disappear, a world in darkness where the prince of the powers of the darkness uh, takes reign. No, you and I are lights of Christ, and we too, with Angela Marici, uh, should spread that light throughout the world in all that we say and all that we do. May I invite you to stand now and together, let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Today's response is, Lord, hear our prayer for the church throughout the world, that she may carry on her mission of life with faith and joy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to abortion and every form of injustice against human life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who ask us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For good health for Nina Candela, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our light of Christianity may shine for others to see and model 
As an example, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Lord, our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother for her very powerful intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have, this bread to offer which earth is given in human hands and made it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have, this wine to offer. For the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Let us stand and pray with the light of Christ that your sacrifice and mine today will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the oblation made by your consecrated people in commemoration of St. Angela Morici be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, and grant that by this participation in this mystery, we may reflect the pattern of your love. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. For the right and just, a duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of St. Angela Merici and all of your saints, you make your church fearful and strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that for your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayer sustains us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all of the angels and saints, we too give you thanks and exultation we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure off sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, and himself took bread and giving thanks, broke, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by your body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her devout spouse, with Saint Angela Merici, and all the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people your son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather all to yourself and your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. But the light of wisdom, let us pray as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us to stay our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, protect us from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave, and my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you this morning. With the light of wisdom, let us offer to one another and to the whole world the peace of Jesus Christ. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Behold the true light of the world, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of our nature. Happy are we today who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, says the Lord. Let us pray. May this holy meal give us strength, Almighty God, so that by the example of St. Angela Marici, we may show in our hearts by our deeds both fraternal charity and the light of truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thank you, everyone. Please have a nice day.